Ah, oh, I can feel it. Excitement for this match here among the WWE fans. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh. from behind. A sneak attack. Why? Why? Obviously, this rivalry is far from over. Someone, someone stop them, please. So much disdain between these two. Just can't be contained. After an exchange of blows, there is no more sanctioned match. This is a brawl. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight. That's exactly what they're going to do. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And he barely evades. Jaw-shattering boot. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. Effective arm drag. Knee driven right through the face and again. Bang! At will. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, and then the chest as well. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. He's looking a little off balance. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Up high. Cross body from the top. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Momentum fully shifted to Shinsuke Nakamura. Heavy work being done to Corbin right now. Arm trapped. Precision strikes. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Corbin fights back. And Corbin puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. If Corbin was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career to... Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? A target. Escape and a takedown. Chest as well. Evading offense. Spin kick to the midsection. Big boot. Jeez. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And Corbin's plans fail there. Shinsuke Nakamura comes up. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight of 440 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, 
Giovanni Vinci, and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperia! Byron, there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. This group has been unstoppable. Look at that formation. Completely in sync, like a finely tuned watch. The D'Angelo family is here in business. Very good. Tony and Stax take what they want. The only problem is they want it all. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. Tony and Stax ready to deal some lessons. These men own the streets, about to own all of WWE. The D'Angelo family has been running the underground of the WWE for a while now and has brought them quite a bit of success. I agree. Though whether Tony D and Stax are doing that by the book or not is up for discussion. But there's no arguing that their success is also due to their incredible in-ring ability and presence. I think it might be a little bit of both. Perhaps they've graced a few palms in the WWE. Isn't it up? Only a one count before the kick out. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. DDT! Talk about devastation. on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Kick hits the mark. Gets him with the counter. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing? Under the apron. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. Stax fights back. He's been placed in the corner now. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, that got turned around on D'Angelo. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Buys the advantage after a string of counters. Popped way up. Driven down. Backbreaker. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Oh, that could produce a dislocation or at the very... Wait, 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 wait! Big kick out. Just barely, but it counts. 
Reigns. A strong takedown there. Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Into the corner. This can't be good. Just launch. And will this be it? And there's the save. Right forearm. Take down. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Back suplex. Back suplex. Spine crushing. A collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. He avoids the damage. And oh, my God, what a fall. That's a job. And Tony just taunting his opponent now. Jeez. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Teamwork right there. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Saw it coming and got out of there. Ooh. Effectively using the knee. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. German suplex. Ludwig was ready for that. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Oh, there's a submission on the way. It's in. Make it four leg lock. Oh, look at this. He's trying to turn it. He does. Turns the pressure. 
Spencer. Hang on just a sec. Oh, no! Somehow, these superstars just... He's going for the pin. This could be it! Oh. Well, the ref doesn't even see the cover. Valuable seconds passing oh. as they're distracted. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here are your winners. Tony D'Angelo and Shannon Lorenzo. Going down in defeat like this will not sit well with Imperium. This was a very good night for the D'Angelo family. They'll be riding high on this one for some time. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true broad street bully. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier, a stand out of NXT UK, one of the most entertaining competitors in the history of that brand. And he's brought that same energy to the US and the entire WWE Universe is about to see it right about now. Keep your eyes on the skies when Nathan Frazier competes. I agree, Byron. This dude is fun to watch, and he is unstoppable once he gets going. And his athletics are unmatched. Drew Gulak is a true student of the ring. He studied the history of this business, studied all of the all-time greats, and he's convinced all that homework gives him a leg up on any opponent. It's not just all that studying that makes Gulak dangerous. It's how viciously he applies it. Believe me, Drew Gulak is as cunning as they come. You're not wrong about that. If Gulak has done his homework correctly, he could be hard to top in this match. Nathan Frazier's ridiculous athletic ability can't be understated, though. If he gets going in this one, good luck. Yeah, Frazier really does seem to move at the speed of light, especially when his back is against the wall. That's when he really turns it up. Oh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Evades their offense. Vicious right forearm. 
Incoming. Big shoulders down. This could be it. Oh, somehow. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. It has to be tough to find an answer for the unique offense of Nathan Frazier, Corey. Well, it's not as tough as it seems, Cole. Like most aerial athletes, a lot of Frazier's offense starts at his base. If you can turn that away, you should be able to ground it. He's taken some good hits. Yeah, Nathan put that right on target. Ooh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, back elbow. Able to get the advantage here. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He moved, but can he capitalize? Placed in the corner. of staying down. Nathan dodges out of that. Snap German suplex. The shining wizard. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Oh, he's got him by the leg. tonight. I know Gulak has to be livid right now. This is not how he planned things going down.
I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he backs it up every night. Theory is due, but he has a habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? So much of the human the highlight of the Knights' power comes from his speed and quickness that sometimes his strength gets overlooked. When it comes to the art of flight, no one does it like Ricochet. But remember, he can also throw fists with the best of them if the situation calls for it. Ricochet looks ready as ever to flex his gravity-defying skills. This guy moves around like he has cheat codes switched on. No denying it. The things Ricochet does in the ring are just amazing. But if he wants to win tonight, he'll need more than just flips and fancy moves. There's no room for showboating in a WWE match. Believe me, Corey, no one knows that better than Ricochet. He knows when it's time to be flashy and when it's time to get serious and fight to win. And standing on the opposite side of the ring is off Into the pin attempt. No, a kick out. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Ricochet can do amazing things in the ring. Incredible feats we've never seen before. But none of that really matters when you're getting punched in the face. If you can ground the man, you definitely have the upper hand in this one. Let's see if he can put that plan into action against Ricochet. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. And Theory is firing up the crowd here. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Well, I guess when you're told you're the guy, you start thinking you're the guy because Theory is looking cocky as hell. Gotta hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. You're too close to the ropes. Yep, and the hope is broken. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager is just making sure the area safe for his client. Able to elude it. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Great counter. Lives to fight another day. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch.
Great counter by Ricochet. Flying Mayorata. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Oh, what a kick. Theory sidesteps. Wow, what a pop kick. Theory is firing up, no doubt about it. Big clothesline. Great strength being shown here. Did the official not see him removing the turn of the bag? He, he's got him down. Is this it? And he manages to kick out in one. And those kickouts are only going to get... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Playing possum. I love it. Gets the shoulder up in one. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. He's got him scouted. attack. Look out! Oh, God! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Thrown back in under the ropes. Hooked up. DDT! And Ricochet couldn't slip out of the way of that hit. Theory very clearly on a high after delivering that maneuver. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Drag. Smart counter to that maneuver. Oh, kick to the face. Now that'll do some serious damage. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Basement drop kick. Front face lock applied into the final cut. Ah, oh, kick right in the face. Theory struggling to defend himself. You have to love the innovative offense from Ricochet. For how much longer? Answering back. <laughs> Snap power slam. Ducked in. He is looking to do some serious harm. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Create separation. Ricochet gets the weak Will that keep Theory grounded? That's gotta be it. Two. Major, major win. That'll change his career tonight. Here is your winner. Ricochet basking in the afterglow of this victory. Ricochet celebrating the result, taking in his big win. He earned it. The high-flying skills of Ricochet were on full display.
Now this team waiting for their opponents to enter. And here they come. Oh, uh, this is going to... Oh, whoa, whoa! Come on! Another cheap tactic. Well, these two have no business out here. Well, these two have just ruined what was supposed to be an amazing tag team match. Well, you know what they say, Saxton. Card's subject to change. Wait, are these two going to replace the fallen team now? It looks that way. This is not what we expected, but this is going to be good. I cannot believe this is actually happening. Believe it, Saxton, and enjoy it. Looks. Like we're going to have a different match than actually was scheduled. Well, I hope the team that was attacked isn't too seriously injured. Go ahead, Saxton. Go backstage and check on them. Cole and I will watch this battle. Glad to see all the superstars involved have made it into the ring. But this is no longer a fair fight after that shocking assault while making their way to the ring. We'll just have to wait and see how that little scuffle alters the balance of power in this contest. Little scuffle? I think you're downplaying what we just saw unfold in front of us. She fights Piper back. Are you me? <laughs> Ooh. Grabs the leg. Just toss their opponent. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Ah, oh, look at this. She's stunned to the corner. And a hammer fist right across the collarbone. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Alba there. Chelsea's offensive wherewithal was on point. Tag! Here she comes! Just an incredible amount of lower body strength displayed there. Across the top rope, stun gun! Tag is made. What do these two have in store? Flying shoulder block! For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be covered! Shoulders are down! She powers out immediately there. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. <laughs> Niven avoids the attack. Oh, what a clothesline. In off the tag. Yeah. Knife edge chop. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Huge toss. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Able to tag her partner. the elbow. She could do it here. She kicks out at one. Close call, but not enough yet. And set right into the corner. What a counter by Chelsea. Oh, and she turns it around. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drive. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Shoulders down. And there's the save. Oh, wait a second. Maybe not. Roll up. Raising the arm before one. Little 
closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. <laughs> oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Canadian <laughs> Destroyer. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Wow. Steady legs in the corner, needs to recover. And Alba got bottled up there. She had it scouted. Right with the arms from behind. I'm prettier. Did Chelsea get enough of it? Somehow, some way, escapes defeat. Still alive. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. Answer that with a knee to the gut. Bang it back with their own counter. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Boom. Oh, took the opening to kick them right in the face. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Quick thinking from Piper. <laughs> Fighting back with a counter. The goalie ball. Cover. Two. She kicks out with force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. In off the tag. And over the top into a rough landing. Whoa! Oh, just completely off target there. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That can be very costly. Don't know if the risk is worth it. Quick thinking to unleash the clothesline. She delivers her back into the ring. She was. She's going for it. She pops the shoulder up in one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. The WWE Universe is showing their appreciation for the action they're seeing. It has been going for the home run. Spot for Dawn. Shoulders down. Oh, she's out at two. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count to three? Yeah. Matt slam with some attitude. And she'll make the tag. <laughs> oh, someone called a dentist. Position here. Check her face after that one. She's showing signs of slowing now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Kick to the stomach. Kick to the stomach. What's the boot to the midsection? section just using their foot as a weapon so ruthless here's a cover could be it fights the shoulder up in one this match continues on oh she's removing the turnbuckle pad come on this isn't right There's a tag. What are we going to see here? 
Double team effort. Double shoulder block. She's staying elusive. There's press and added damage. She really is. Oh man, targeting the leg. As the arm bar stretch in. Just stretching out the arm. Gets the tag. Yeah. Oh, this is. Uh oh. Able to beat Chelsea to the punch. The pinpoint kick to the back. tonight. This is unbelievable. We got to work Dawn diagnosing her target. She returns the favor there. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. Scratching and clawing. This could be She finding the strength. This is unreal. Yes, tag. Super tag. What a match. It's total madness in here. So agile. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. She sent flying into the corner. Alba shifts that to her favor. Locking up the arms from behind. There's the eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Wow, Chelsea got her. Just making their opponent suffer with their boot. Oh, oh, absolutely punishing. And Green is going full tilt here. Chelsea isn't holding anything back. And finds a counter. Bang! Oh. Oh, face buster. And Fire delving deep in herself to pull off that offense. And the fact that Alba has this much left in the tank here is impressive. Whoa. Cross the top rope all the way to the floor. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Looking to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Oh. to the top rope now. Up high. Escape just in time. Elbow on the spot. Oh, Hangman's neck breaker. But now, stomp to the guts. Oh, an insult to injury.
the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. Well, that was a huge miss. Yeah, Corey, but it's got to be tough planning for one match only to have a change to another last minute. I wonder if this match ends differently with a different plan. I'm sure everyone will be wondering that for a while too, Byron. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. This is a man who captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. It's go time. What a major challenge. I would go as far as to say this might be one of the biggest challenges this superstar has ever faced in his career. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. A high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. One of the youngest champions ever in the history of WWE, Tyler Bate has found tremendous success. Oh, right, right, so it's cinched in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Back and forth from these competitors. Wow, springboard attack. Play and possum! Whoa. Play and possum! Whoa. And he breaks the count quickly. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Drag. Getting set up for something in the corner. And for the moment, Bate gets knocked down a peg. There's some of that world traveled savvy from Styles. Series of reversals. 
Tyler Bate, a young competitor who has already accomplished so much, does that make him harder to defeat? It absolutely does, Cole. Bate has the confidence and stamina of youth. He's taken much bigger superstars to the limit, but the longer the match goes, even he starts to run out of steam. If you want to beat him, you have to be ready to outlast him. Uh-oh. Oh, what a counter. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Bate cuts him off. Setting it up into a brain buster. And going down at that angle did not look good. Can't see this going much further after that. Bad predicament right here. Oh, look at this. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Hammer it away. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Toss back into the ring. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And we can. Here's the cover. Victory. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. A tough loss handed to Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate tried everything he could, but he just came up short. Hopefully he used this as a moment of reflection to see what worked and what didn't, because clearly something didn't. We're moments away from this highly anticipated matchup. The opponent making their way down to the ring. Oh, in the oh. ring! Going right after the superstar. Not even gonna wait for the opening bell. The official needs to get control, quick. So much for playing by the rules. Well, I say that surprise attack was cowardly, but yes, it was effective. The referee unsuccessfully keeping them apart, and now a brawl's broken out. I knew a little thing like throwing the match out wouldn't stop them. This is serious. Someone needs to separate them. Picture perfect drop kick. And a steam. Jumping knee drop. So precise. He turns it around. Ooh, clubbing strike to the back. Big impact. And he's able to fight Dragunov off. Ooh. He's taking this to the floor now. Powerless position to be in right now. My goodness! And then look at that! Quick thinking from Dragunov. Shot to the chest. Given the no disqualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics should you expect to see here? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent-up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. Oh, impressive counter. Oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Oh, man, right? 
right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, oh. knee right to the face. Oh, man. Big elbow. Got to be agonizing for the arm. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. And Dragunov is brought to a disadvantage now. And Dragunov stuck and looking for a solution. Oh, right in there. Momentum going back to Ilya's corner. Ilya could be turning his fortunes around. Denied with an elbow. Sign of disrespect. My goodness! That's insulting. Practically never ending blows. Coming at full force here. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Seth retaliates. Rollins with an homage to the game. Seth Rollins gets. All right, here comes his opponent from behind. And a block from behind. Time. Roll back into the ring. How is he even going to be in any condition to compete now? The official checking on him, and I guess, I guess he says he's good. Hey, the attacker's got to be scared of me ambushing them from behind like that. This competitor is determined not to let anything or anyone stop them from competing. Well, they're definitely still going, no matter how unwise. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Blast off! Big cross body! Goes into the pin. There's two! He narrowly avoids the count. The end was in sight. Rolling into a monkey flip. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. And I think something both Cody and Roman have to be careful of here is overconfidence. Picking the leg. Oh, we got to see it. Down it. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Here comes a neck breaker. But their opponent has other plans. Great resistance and a neckbreaker counter. Missed timing with that springboard. Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. 
Uh oh. And that canceled out Reigns' offense. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, he retaliates. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. And slamming him down into a powerbomb. A powerbomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Oh my! Cody's heart being put to a test now. Yeah, as Roman came ready to assert his dunk. The head of the table cinches it in. Now the guillotine choke is taking out so many superstars. Oh, God. Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. Well, what a bridge it out. Incredible. Close line. Staved off that attack. What power. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Whip back into the ring. Look at a torch of their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. This has got to be one of the most knocked down, drag out progressions of a rivalry we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. Resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence that never gets old. And after all that, Roman Reigns still has an end to this battle. Can you believe this? I love it. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. Taking aim on the arm. Some way he is still in this. Cody looking to end this with crossroads. That is what it takes to topple Reigns. Makes a cover. Oh, shoulder up before three. Holy moly! Reigns' toughness on display with that kick out. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow. It wasn't. Oh, Cody anticipated that. Reigns plans in motion. Oh, look out. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, what a right. He can't take any more of this. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Goodness gracious. Turns it around. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Oh, turn down the lights. Kick everybody out. Cotton call. up the W. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Once that attack happened earlier, I think we knew the way this match was heading. Here we see the seemingly inevitable outcome. Look, when victory's on the line, you don't stop to think. You do whatever you have to do to make sure things go your way. And I guess throwing fair play right out the window just happened to be the best they could come up with? That's right.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the NXT Women's Championship. Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bayley. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Kai, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Winner of the first ever women's breakout tournament in NXT. And she's held tag team gold and the NXT Women's Championship. But it still feels like she needs to prove herself as a top dog in all of WWE. You can see the passion for competition in Roxanne's eyes. The very definition of young and hungry. Introducing the challenger from San Jose, California. The NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. With Bailey, it's all about control. Controlling the situation, controlling her own success, even controlling the entire women's division if she can. Well, Bailey is a full on control freak as far as I'm concerned. She's a manipulator who takes what she wants by any means necessary. Yeah, Bailey demands to have things exactly to her liking and pity anyone who gets in the way of that. She's taking on the self proclaimed prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Living up to a moniker like that is hard to do. But Perez is more than willing to do the work and earn it one match at a time. Fast press! Fast press! Oh, Fast press! The champion into the cover! The challenger wriggles out in one. She shows that she's far from finished. Perez on the receiving end. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering nasty stops. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. Just a barrage of stops. Just stopped the hell out of the champ and enjoyed it. 
Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. And Perez saw that coming. Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! to the hand. If you needed evidence of how much that championship means, look no further than that onslaught. Roxanne Perez has proven herself to be quite the competitor, Corey. Her impressive resilience has to make her a tough opponent to figure out. There's certainly no fear when it comes to Perez, but I think that's what makes her so unpredictable. But Cole, it's also that lack of caution that can be dangerous for Perez. She is really getting fired up. Ooh. And now Roxanne is thriving off the audience. for where take down looking for the cross face it cinched in this fighting desperately she rolls her way out of the submission and takes control nice Japanese arm drag steer clear of that oh, costly error there saw that coming. Kick right to the leg. Kick! Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Across the top rope. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Champ with the shoulder up. She's still as determined as ever. Play it possum! Whoa! Play it possum! She breaks the count quick. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. These women have gone to all out war in this match. I don't see how they have anything left to give here. And Bailey connected nicely there. And now she's looking to go top rope. Soaring! Fighting out with a series of elbows to the temple. She avoids the contact. Belly to belly. Oh, new champ. You have to hand it to the new champion. Bailey was just hungrier tonight. Here is your winner. And the new NXT Women's Champion. What a turn of events. One reign ends and another begins. Becoming the champion has to be one of the most glorious feelings she's felt.